Hello and welcome to the finale of our race from continental America's northernmost to southernmost town. Right now we're at the end of day four and it's still anybody's game. We're in Dallas, Ben and Adam are in Chicago, and both teams have a viable path to the finish line with the tickets already in their hand. Ben and Adam's route is set to get them to Key West a few hours before Michelle and I, but we might have a way to stop them. With only an hour left in the day, a steal just came up on the flop. We knew this might happen, so Michelle and I had already researched a spot to complete the challenge, the former site of the Dallas Sportatorium. If we can stand exactly where Elvis stood in the middle of the former stadium, we'll earn the steal and use it to sabotage Ben and Adam's path to victory. The only question is, can we actually get to the spot where Elvis stood? Oh, f Okay, hopefully we can get to what feels like the center. Oh my god, where the oh, f no, are Jill. we? What's the field? Our entire strategy is based around this ticket not getting stolen. Yeah, if they steal the thousand mile flight west, we are in, I would I would call it massive trouble. Oh, so we're thank here. you. Let's figure out where our train is. We still have 25 minutes. If there's a picture somewhere of Elvis in downtown Chicago, we could maybe still try to make it happen. Yeah, here, let's stay close to the exit just in case. What does it say on Google Maps? What are the pictures? I mean, it's right here. Oh, okay, no, it's more towards yes. the side of the street. Okay. Is this it? I Did feel, we do it? Okay, look, look at here. Look at here. So it's the center of that thing, right? Yes. So it's, look how it's on the corner. Yes. Perfect. So it We're forms, standing where Elvis stood. Okay, yeah, this it's, is where it's right stood. here. It's right here. It's like, it is marginal. But this is where Elvis stood. Look at the geometry, form a circle around here, and then think about the center. Yes. It is here. Let's call them. Yes, call them. I'm pretty sure that's going to be indisputable when you look at the satellite map, but... Oh my. No way. Gentlemen. No way. You won't believe how close it is. We have verifiable evidence that Elvis stood just outside of this fence in a now destroyed venue called the Dallas Sportatorium. Wait, wait, wait. You have a picture? You have an ex you have a picture of him exactly there? There's a there's a video right there. Yeah, there's a video of him performing here. You're standing where the stage used to be. Yes. Yes. How do you know exactly where the stage used to be? We have a satellite map. All right. I mean, do you see any way in which this is not legit? No, no, it's fine. Okay, well, in that case, we're we doing it? Yeah. We would like to steal a card. You have two options. We have a 450 mile unrestricted plane and a 1,000 mile flight that has to go west. We would like to take your 100 mile flight that goes 1, west. 1,000 mile flight that goes west. We did expect as much. I apologize. Uh, should we do a quick flop? Flop it up, flop it up. 11 is a 400 mile card, smuggle goods. Okay. We gotcha. Okay, bye. Bye. I'm sorry, Adam. So, Adam, I'm sorry. Bye. Okay, well, that throws a wrench in the works. A very large wrench. I don't know. I don't know, man. I mean, I think we still get on this train, right? Let's go get on the train. Let's get on the train. All right, uh, I think we need to get to the airport. I'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll um, call an Uber. Hey, for Sam? Yeah. Hey, how's it going? What's the last name? Uh, What's that? It's under Chase. Oh, what's your last name? Chase. Chase? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> you guys go to college though, right? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. You guys are actually right here. These are your room bravas. I've been looking for y'all all day. I know, all right? right. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. Look, Ben, it's our room. It's our room. I'm trying to figure out what we can do. What, if anything, could be done. 
Look, they're ending the day in Dallas. They're in f Dallas. They're still a bit of a ways. I don't really know what they're gonna do. Those are truly some big old flags. Oh my God, this is perfect timing. Yeah. Literally, it is 6.59 and we are pulling into the airport hotel. Five, four, three, two. Hi, AD. Welcome to our room. Ben is standing right now in the foyer. That's sort of a great place to hang out and chill. We've got a nice little closet in here in which you can put like two jackets. Two jackets, maybe. There's the big couch here. These will become two beds. This seemingly is the light switch. No. no that is something else. Yeah, so this isn't a game show anymore. It's just sort of a, a, a travel vlog. And from a travel vlog perspective, I'm having a great time. If I were involved in a game show, I would potentially be quite concerned at the moment, but I'm not. Things were so good about an hour ago. We basically had the win all locked up. We fully were going to win. We were going to be in Key West by 3.30. Now... Now I don't think we will be in Key West at 3.30, to be honest no. with you. There, it's still possible, is all I'll say. Look, here's what I'll say. If it's Popsicle, it's possible. And I certainly believe that it's Popsicle. Gonna... This is sort of interesting. This yeah. is our bathroom slash shower. It's a shower with a toilet in it. It's I've kind never of, seen a shower with a toilet in it. That's kind of a dream scenario, uh -huh. actually. You can be doing two awesome things at the same you time. You can be doing two awesome things at the same time. I'm gonna be honest, this feels incredibly risky. Oh my gosh, this is nuts. Hello, hello and welcome to Ben's Shower Corner. Today, we are showering on the train. It's very weird because I can still feel that I'm moving on the train. That concludes Ben's shower corner. I'm in my cage. It's be it's bedtime. bedtime. Oh, you have a little cage so you don't fall out. I have a little cage so I don't fall out and die in the night. Yeah, we'll see you in the morning. And now, the final rest period. We'll be starting day five in Dallas, and Ben and Adam should wake up somewhere in Pennsylvania. The train stops in Pittsburgh, but it leaves the city before the day officially starts, so Ben and Adam will have to get off on the train's next stop in Connellsville and find some way to get back to Pittsburgh, or another smaller airport, if they want to catch a flight tomorrow morning. Without their 1,000-mile flight west, their path to victory will be tough, but not impossible. If they manage to earn the right tickets tomorrow, there are still plenty of flights to Key West from cities like Charlotte and Atlanta that get in before we can. So without further ado, day five. Oh, good morning. Good morning, Adam. Uh, it would seem that we are getting into uh, beautiful Connellsville a little bit late. Which means we're going to be on the train when the flop happens. Which uh, means... You get challenges when you are on transportation. Yeah. It is just before 6 a.m., and we are so very back. Yeah! Hey! <laughs> so we're just waiting. We are. For a call. Hello. 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 Can you flop, please? Yeah. Ready? 14 is the first one. Okay. It's a steal. Yep. It's a steal. Second one is one. Okay. That's fine. The third one is 11. Okay. I just hear Adam's brain going a million miles an hour. Okay, and the last one is three. Okay, got it. Bye. 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 Okay, go, we've got, wait, Sam. We've got to get to the airport. Wait, this is crazy. Yeah, okay, this. that was not as bad as it could have been. Okay, there is that steal. But that's a that's a big one. It's completely irrelevant to us. Uh, yeah, but we need to slow them down. As you can tell, we are not yet in Connellsville. Uh, we're going to be getting in Connellsville about 45 minutes late. Something like that. So we are still here on the train, and we cannot do anything until... No, we can research. We can research. That's it. Um... 
So, okay, but well, let's we, go over our game plan. The game plan, yeah, we didn't have time to explain last night. <laughs> the game plan is basically, we're going to Birmingham. Alabama. Alabama. We booked that flight the second that we got here so that they couldn't steal it. So basically last night when we landed, we used our random, random airline ticket that we got at Artie McPhee to book an American Airlines flight for this morning. Oh. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that news. Yep. So oh. this flight's been locked in, which has been nice. Yeah, and the cool thing, yeah, you want to know how far Birmingham, Birmingham Airport is from uh, from Dallas Fort Worth Airport? 592 miles <laughs> out of the maximum 600. The reason why we're going to Birmingham, well, we'll, we'll show you once you get there, once we get there. But yes. it makes a lot of sense. It's a great plan, I think, um, and I think it's better than whatever Ben and Adam can do from Huntington, West Virginia, or wherever they're going. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. You, you too. too. Ben, welcome to Connellsville. We have made it to Connellsville. All right, what the hell do we do now? Well, here's the situation. We need a car to get out of here, but there is no car on the flop. So we just have to start working on other stuff, hopefully slow them down. Yeah. Uh, and hope a car shows up soon. I guess my question would be, what do we do? I think we should start working on memorizing everything. You memorize everywhere? It's... All right, let's get in the gazebo. Are we allowed to go in that gazebo? Uh, it seems to be a publicly accessible gazebo. So this challenge is a reference to uh, I've Been Everywhere by Johnny Cash, which is actually not the original version of the song. The original version of the song is about places in Australia. Johnny Cash did, uh, did a version uh, with places in North America. Yeah, you're talking so slowly and we need to memorize these things. There are four stanzas with places, and so I'll take the first two and you take the second two. Great. I've been to Reno, Chicago, Fargo, Minnesota, Buffalo. You absolutely cannot do it out loud. Hello, Peter. <laughs> Been to Boston, Pittsburgh, Charleston, Dayton, Louisiana, Washington, Houston, Kingston, Gravelberg, Texarkana, Colorado, Monterey, Faraday, Santa, Wet, Santa Fe, Tallapoosa, Glen Rock, Black Rock, Little Rock, Oskaloosa, Tennessee to Tennessee, Chicopee, Spirit Lake, Grand Lake, Devil's Lake, Crater Lake, for Pete's sake, Monterey, Louisville, Santa Nashville, Fe, Monterey, Faraday, Santa Fe, Tallapoosa, Monterey. Fe. Okay. I think I've got it. I've been to Reno, Chicago, Fargo, Minnesota. One second. Buffalo, Toronto, Winslow, Sarasota. Wichita, Tulsa, Ottawa, Oklahoma. Tampa, Panama, Malawa, La Paloma. Bangor, Baltimore, Salvador, Amarillo. Tokopio, Barranquilla, Amperdia. I'm a killer. Okay. Boston. Been to Boston. Houston. Nope. I'm afraid the next is Charleston. Shoot. It's time for the final Zodiac Zone. So Sam, have I made you a believer in astrology this week? <gasps> I am seriously not making this up. This is what Coaster says about me and Sam. It says, you and Sam are both searching for something. Kind of true. You're looking for a beach day. It yeah. literally says good for beach days. <laughs> Can we talk about how Coaster literally said we're both good for a beach day today? Yeah. That's crazy. It says, Adam. Adam is working through their insecurities.
Austin, Charleston, Dayton, Louisiana, Washington, Houston, Kingston, Texarkana. One second. Monterey, Faraday, Santa Fe, Tallapoosa, Glen Rock, Little Rock, Black Rock, Oskaloosa, Tennessee to Tennessee, Chicopee, um, Spirit Lake, Grand Lake, Crater Lake, Devil's Lake. Yep. Okay. All right, let's see if I've still got mine in my head. Louisville, Nashville, Knoxville, Ombabica. Yep. Furthermore, we've got Shefferville, Jacksonville, Waterville, and Costa Rica. We've got Pittsfield, Springfield. Uh, we've got Bakersfield. We've got Shreveport. How's about Hackensack, Cadillac, Fond du Lac? After Fond du Lac is Davenport. Nice. Idaho, Jellico, Argentina, Diamantina, uh, Pasadena, Catalina. Perfect. The next verse is Pittsburgh, Parkersburg, Gravelburg, Colorado. Yep. Ellensburg, Rexburg, Vicksburg, El Dorado. Very good. Laramore, mm -hmm. Atmore, yep. Haverstraw. Yep. Chattanooga. Yes. Chaska, Nebraska. Alat, Chaska, Nebraska, Alaska, Opelika. Yep. 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 Uh, then we got Baraboo. We got Waterloo, Kalamazoo, Kansas City, Sioux City, Cedar City, and Dodge City. Yes. Okay. Wow, that was, I don't know if that was good content, but that was incredible that we did it. I feel pretty good about that. Pray that a car comes up. Yeah. Pray that a car comes really up. Really need that. All right, we'll send them a video. Okay, we're about to take off to go to Birmingham, but we just got a video from Ben and Adam. Hello. Hello, Sam and Michelle. Um, we have memorized everywhere. Everywhere, we've memorized it. We've memorized pretty oh, much everywhere. Oh, and we come to you from, I don't even remember now. Where are we? We are in the- Collinsville. Of the lovely Collinsville, Pennsylvania. Collinsville, Pennsylvania. Good luck. Okay, they're going for it. They are in Collinsville, Pennsylvania. They memorized the song. They are professional memorizers at this point, I think. Yeah, it's impressive. Where could they be going with that everywhere card, though? I don't know. Okay, let's find out where they're going. All right, new card on the flop. 800 mile flight, become Florida man. Recreate one of the following two headlines with one team member as the Florida man. Florida man attacked while taking selfie with squirrel. Florida man found with drugs while trapped in a porta potty. We must become Florida man. Okay, so we desperately, desperately, desperately need this. Yeah, okay, so we need to find a squirrel or a porta potty, and we would need to get drugs. Surely there should be a squirrel. Squirrel or a porta potty. I think a squirrel will be easier. If we, Ben, if slow we. Slow down, here's slow the, down. We're trying to look. Right. Okay, here's the thing, Ben. If we get this ticket, I think we have a genuine chance of winning. I'm with you. I'm with you. And it seems like this, there should. Be. Just look out for squirrels and porta potties, please. Here, let's try going to the park. The park will be good to check for porta potties or squirrels. I don't see any squirrels. You keep watch. You keep watch here. I'm gonna check over there. Oh. Adam, squirrel. Shh, shh. Yeah, yeah. You, you do it, you do it, because I can't see it. I, I can't see it anymore. It just went up in that tree, though. I feel, I feel like we can only see it when it moves. We're like apex predators in that way. Sleuthing Sam is on the case. Can get them to get them to Atlanta. Oh no, that's crazy. 
Could they, could they get to Atlanta before us though? Possibly. Because then they might go Atlanta, Miami, or Atlanta, something else. Yeah, I'll check. Oh, that would be bad. That would be bad, that would be very bad. Hi there. Um, this is going to sound a little silly, but my friend and I are doing a scavenger hunt um, across the country, and we need to take a photo in a porta potty. Would it be possible to do that with one of your porta potties? We will pay any amount to rent it or anything. We just need to literally use it for like one second. I mean, not even use it, use it, but like. Okay. Um, yeah, I called a porta potty rental service, um, and they're gonna call me back. Hopefully, they call us back with good news. But first, we have to get drugs. So Adam has found a pharmacy, and we're gonna go there now. And then hopefully, I don't know. We could always come back and try to look for the squirrel. The squirrel just moves so fast. Good morning. And this is going to be an extremely silly question. We're doing a scavenger hunt, and we have to find a porta potty You don't have any idea where one would be in town, do you? Well, there should be one down across the ball field, uh, ball field in North End. OK. So just up here, you think? Yeah. Gotta be. OK, great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, that's a 12-minute walk. I think we should jog. Might, might as well try, right? Yeah. Yeah, Meadow Lane? Yeah, this way. Yeah, easy porta potties. Okay. Okay. Uh, I have to get trapped, so. Uh, yeah, I'll trap you in there. Tie my uh, hands together. Use my jacket. Tie my hands together. Okay. Okay. Duh. Okay. Okay. Now get me in here. Get in there. Try to get out. I would say that he is trapped in there with drugs, and so. We got it, we got it, we got it. We Let's got call him. Yes! That is huge. That is huge. We are back in it, baby. All right, time for the flop. Once again, in order to go anywhere, we need to we get still to need Pittsburgh. A and we currently have three flights, actually. That's true. <laughs> We're going to have to drop one. Ultimately, yeah. All right, here we go. OK, so the next card to come up on the flop was this. Pop a kernel of corn for a 400-mile train. It's not what Ben and Adam needed to escape Connellsville, but they figured they could knock it out easily, so they ran to a nearby pharmacy to get popcorn, a lighter, and a hair straightener. I was curious what this was about. Oh, it's a whole thing. <laughs> it turns out popping a single kernel of corn wasn't as easy as it looked on Instagram, so they went back into the pharmacy and asked if they could use the microwave. Is there any chance that you have like a microwave somewhere in a break room that you could throw it into? <laughs> sure. We can stay out. Oh, uh, yeah, just stay out there. <laughs> After popping their corn, a car ticket finally came up on the flop. All they had to do was find all the letters of one of their names in graffiti. But in Connellsville, that also turned out to be pretty tough. Look at this. I've never seen such a clean writing. Ugh. Not a single letter. This town is, is immaculate. This actually could be an issue. Tunnel. Tunnel? Tunnels are prime spot for graffiti. Okay, shine a light on it. There are a lot of letters in here. Oh wait, look at the little letters. A. D. 
A. Yeah, A D. We just need an M. It says free slow it. Free showing. Free showing. Oh whoa! I I hope we don't miss the free show. Um, my M M. That's Adam. Oh baby. That's a car. Okay. Oh, baby girl. Okay, now that we have our car, we are going to do our best to try and start heading towards Pittsburgh. The only problem is this town is very small, so getting an Uber here, especially an Uber that far away. It's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be easy. Pittsburgh Airport, because best I can tell, there's no rental car place there. So Pittsburgh Airport is outside of their radius, so they're gonna have trouble getting there. They might be trying to get a car. They could be, yeah. That'll take them time. Alabama. I'm gonna hit submit and reserve the rental car. Yes! Yes! Means they can't steal it. They can't steal it! This is huge. Okay. Getting on the interstate there. Yep. I 20. And we will explain everything. So, right now, we are driving directly east on Interstate 20 to the world's busiest airport, Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport, <laughs> where at is a 3 p.m. today, there is a direct flight to Key West, Florida. Let's go! That we have the right to get onto, and they can't steal that right because Georgia, Florida's, uh, Georgia, Georgia, Florida, <laughs> Georgia's Florida borders. They we can, are so out of They cannot condition. prevent us from getting this flight. And that is because we stole this ticket from them. There is a closing window of things that can go wrong for us. <laughs> Sam, why are you saying? Oh my God, with your history, it is so bold of you to say something like this. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I've got an Uber. I got one. I've got an Uber. You've got an Uber? Yeah. To the airport? Yeah. Yeah? I didn't even realize. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Well, we finally managed to get a car. Yeah, it only took, what, like 45 minutes? Look, the, I just didn't think it was gonna even happen. No, I was getting really scared. But this car will take us to Pittsburgh Airport. We'll be there in about an hour. And then we will get on a 1 p.m. flight to Atlanta. We could use our 450 miler to go to Orlando, or we could hope that a really good card shows up in the flop because Atlanta has direct flights to Key West. That would be the, the real way that we would be likeliest to win. I mean, really the only thing that can do it for them at this point is, in our minds at least, unless there's something that we're missing, is them burning through challenges, get the dice roll card, and then get the two out of six chance um, of getting enough distance from that to the Key West flight. It's a, it's a big long shot. It's Huge. possible, but it's a big long shot. This is us, I think. Hello. Hi. I love Pittsburgh. I never knew that Pittsburgh was so pretty. Should we, uh, should we learn what Ben and Adam have been up to? Yes, we have received a few videos from them. They've Not, been busy. <laughs> they've, they've been, been very busy, busy doing we were challenges, on the flight. Oh, there are three. Three? Oh, no. Hey, guys. Uh, I just got trapped in this porta potty with my drugs. Oh, no. Okay, so they got an 800 mile flight to Florida. We're still in Connellsville. Connellsville? What is it? Connellsville. 
What? Okay. Still in Cottlesville, founder and Aiden Graffiti. Goodbye. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Well, the only concerning thing there is their 800 mile flight to anywhere but Florida, but we already looked at that. And the only useful flight out of there anytime soon was one to Atlanta, Georgia. So it would still be involved, someone involved for them to get to that. Thank, Thank you so much. much. You have a good day. Yes, yes. We appreciate Thank you. you. Okay. All right. All right. Welcome All right. to the Pittsburgh International Airport. Uh, right now it says that there is only one ticket left on this 1 p.m. to Atlanta, so you know what time it is. Time to beg. It's time to American. go to the ticket Delta. counter and beg. Let's go. <laughs> uh, we're doing the strangest thing. We're in a race across America. We're, we're trying to get a ticket on the 1 p.m. to Atlanta, but it only shows one ticket available online, but I was wondering if it's possible that maybe... It's sold out. Totally sold out. It tells me that I possibly have two first-class tickets. Great. We'll do that. Right. Fantastic. Let's see, if we, let's see if they don't let me do it. Sell it. <sighs> Buckies! 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 Michelle, we need Should to we stop. Should we go? We need to stop. Should I pull over? Yes, pull over. This is more important. <laughs> Seriously? Yes. We're on no. such a... No. No? no. Okay, I'm changing that the light That was back. a test, Michelle. Oh, my God. And you failed. What the hell? <laughs> what is... Oh, my God. I love Buggy. It is the promised land, but <laughs> we have more important things. And, oh, and that's a rare... Man. That is a rare thing to say about <laughs> but, uh But we have more important things to do. Are you sure we can't go, Sam? I was so excited to go. I know. Got to get uh, to the airport, though. Business only. Goodbye, Alabama. Georgia. Hello, Georgia. Famously home to Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. And Peaches. But more importantly, the airport. Yeah. Well, let me ask you a question. Yeah. If we got booked on the later flight, could you put us on standby for the earlier flight? I could, but I couldn't guarantee that that's going to happen. What do you think the odds are? So right now there's two people on standby. Already. And zero flights. And they would get on ahead of you because they have status with Delta. OK. So you, our odds would be bad. Yeah, most people show up for Atlanta. OK. Well, we'll try it because I don't know if you can be put, because it, it, it leaves at 1 o'clock. Yeah. We're reporting at 40 minutes before departure. We, yeah, we, we're glad to run. I'm just going to hurry up and do it. <laughs> Before it tells me I can't. OK, I, got, I was able to put you guys to stand by for it. Thank okay. you so Thank much. You. This is not going to work. Nope. The people at the gate have been pretty clear that they think there is about a zero chance that we get off of standby. We're going to try it, though. But we're certainly going to try. All right, we have about five minutes left to the airport. <sighs> We're so close. Good news is seats are still available on the flight. Yes, let's go. We're now basically at the boarding time for uh, if Ben and Adam were taking that flight down to Atlanta. I'm, I'm still, the, the silence still has me. I'm so worried. Like the silence could either be very bad news or very good news. Kind of right, nowhere right. Right. Uh, so Ben was turned back at security. No idea what that's about. Okay. Uh, TSA just rejected me because they don't see the flight, so I have to go back. Hi. Um, they said that they didn't see the flight. What flight? That we were just booked on. I don't know. They sent me back with this. I I know. Seventy-six. Sure is a lot of people. Take that full broke flight. Use a full broke flight. Great, thank you. Okay, okay, thank you. Um, I, I was just rejected. They said they couldn't see my flight. Oh, let me see guys. Did you change your flight? No. He's on standby for one flight. He has a confirmed flight. Arrived. 
Oh, it's really taking its time. Oh my goodness, come on. Thank you so much. Thank you. There we go. Nice. Is it booked? Yes. We're going to Key West, baby! We just have to hope that Adam and Ben haven't found a way to weasel themselves onto yeah. this Key West flight. This is so stressful. I feel like there must be something. I know. I'm so used to them being able to nab it out from under me. Hi. I'm on a uh, standby. I just didn't know if I needed to check in or anything. Chase, I like just got put on. Oh, I can get on. Oh, incredible. Fantastic. My friend is on his way, Doyle. Okay. Um, when you come down, I'll just have to have a Okay, great. Thank you. I just had a go for me to main cabin two. We're on the flight, Benjamin. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we're still in it. They, they, they thought it was never going to happen. The people at the gate simply did not believe in us. Okay. Much like the audience, the people at the gate counted it to boys out. out. There's no such thing as sold out flights. You just get on. Simply get on standby. Simply get on standby. Just leave them at the bottom of the Thank you. Okay. you Thank uh, you. <laughs> I hope this flight isn't delayed. Well, and that Ben and Adam don't sneak out on it. Don't sneak on it. Guys, I keep like checking behind me, like, where are they? Their well, their, their, their flight, if they got on a flight from Pittsburgh, they should have just landed here. Welcome to Atlanta. So we have booked to Sarasota. It's almost exactly 450 miles. It's yep. like 446 or something. And you know what? Amidst all this chaos, yeah, I am I very that's happy pretty good. to have tickets on that. So the better option would be if we can fish for a ticket that would allow us to fly directly to Key West, because there are flights direct from Atlanta to Key West. And then that's it. And then that would be it. I think we can for sure do the paper airplane thing. Paper airplane without a doubt. I still, we still don't know where Sam and Michelle are. Have not heard no. from them all day. I mean, I have to imagine that if we are facing all of this chaos and all of these delays and all of these full flights and everything, they probably are probably hitting them too. What's your, uh, what's your stress level? Um, my stress level is extremely high, as always, so nothing to report there. But not higher than average? Uh, it is higher than average. Oh, always is. Good. Uh, Wait. Especially just my stress. My average is constantly increasing. This <laughs> oh, okay, that, okay, got it. <laughs> yeah, that seems about right. Let's give it a go. Okay, Adam, if you can hit that wall. Yeah, then that's a guarantee. Okay, give it a throw. It seems like we should be okay, but they have always pulled a fast one. Yep. Consistently. Because we think they're here. I won't I won't believe it until my hand is on the finish line. Yes. <laughs> Agreed. Easy. Easy.
All right, let's give them a ring. I want to know where they are so bad, but I think they're gonna like hide. No, they, they're, they're always trying to hide. If they don't pick up, we know that they're flying somewhere probably. All right, Ben, let's update the flop. Ben, 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 Ben. Is it the dice roll? Two, 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 oh, oh. Variable distance flight. Build a giant die. The die must be at least one foot by one foot by one foot. You may not use a pre-existing cube. Once the die is built, you must randomly allocate numbers one through six to its sides and roll it. Multiply the number you roll by 150 miles to get the distance of your flight. Okay, update, uh, yep, 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 yep. This could be it. This so, could be it, baby. Let's go back this away. This could be the whole shebang. This could be the whole shebang. Go, 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 go. We think, we think these. Yeah, and with three of them, because they would fold open. So our plan is to adhere them with stickers. I think that will work. Have a good one. Let's just go to like, yeah, let's just like go to a gate. We will keep these records, they will not go to waste. I actually feel like this is gonna be a completely competent die. Yeah, that's actually like even better than I expected. Yeah, me too. We are on the plane and I have an entire row to myself. I hope these are Adam and Ben seats. <laughs> I mean, I'm actually like extremely proud of that. This side is four. This side is one. Five, two, three. three. And that makes this side six. Let's set the stakes. Yeah. If we roll a five or a six, we can go straight to Key West. <sighs> Do they book these seats? No. Like literally every other seat is filled. Are you ready? I now don't know what side it is. I'm now gonna do a whole thing. Okay, and now, here we go, ready? Give it, make sure it gets a nice spin on there. <sighs> That's a three. That is not what we needed. No, that is not what we needed. The southernmost point. It is beautiful here. Nice. The ocean's right there. Oh, look what we got. Oh, hell yeah. Thank you. Have you ever been to Sarasota? <gasps> no. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe you've been to Sarasota. Why would I be in Sarasota? I have never been to Sarasota for what it's worth. That's it up there. <gasps> you can see it? Yep. I can't because I'm shorter than you. Look, it's the southernmost bar in the continental US. I guess we didn't acknowledge that this is only the southernmost point in the continental US. <laughs> Go. There it is. I have visualized this moment. Every day for the past Here, month. Out. People are for Here, just just go touch it really quickly. <laughs> Quick touch. Quick touch. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Nice job.
job. We did it. We don't want to get in all those nice people's photos. I know, we definitely just skipped the line of all the people here, waiting to let's take a go, picture with it. Let's go over here and FaceTime them. Okay. Hello, Michelle. Hello. Uh, where are you? We have an update for y'all. We have something to show you. No. How? How? We drove through Utah to a random high altitude airport and flew to Dallas from there the whole time you guys saw we were in Colorado Springs. We took a flight using our random card. The random card. To Birmingham, Alabama, drove to Atlanta, then used our neighboring state card to go Atlanta to here. Congratulations, folks. Well done. I That was a game well played. Thank you. You guys were such incredible opponents. You are certified professional athletes by my standards. I don't know how you guys do this all the time. It, it was incredible. It's just yeah. have fun in Key West. Bye. Bye. High five. I'm smiling. Show yourself smile. No, he always. Let's find a good spot to post up, and then uh, hear back from them when they get to Sarasota. Should we get a pina colada? Potentially. Yes. Hello. Well, Adam, we are not going to Sarasota we after asked all. Really nice, and they let us. They off did the plane. let us get off the plane. Ready? Yep. You got your pina colada. Hello. All right. Sam. Michelle, but mostly Michelle. Mostly Michelle. I'm sure that it was like 90% Michelle, <laughs> yeah. to be honest. Um, congratulations on winning season eight of Jet Lag the Game. A very, very spectacular performance. Now, I know that you probably think that you've bested us, that you've outsmarted us, that you have thrown us for a loop, but in fact, Nothing could be further from the truth. To that we say ha. We know that this is exactly what would happen, which is why we stored the season eight trophy in this garbage can at the Atlanta airport. Now, you're not gonna believe this, but there it goes. Whoa, whoa. It floated out of the can and now it's flying to KOS. Whoa, whoa. Oh, it's... Oh, do you see it? Yeah, yeah. Do you see it, Sam? Yeah. It's right there. Oh my gosh, it's coming so fast, it's coming so... I have to put my drink down. Well, it's coming... Please. It's coming specifically to right here. Oh my god, you got it. Oh. Ready? Yeah! That's great. Okay, oh, let's we just, have to put it down. We, yeah, we, no, we just, just dropped just, it. Just throw it over there. <laughs> okay. Now, Michelle, I'm sure that it was, uh, it was a, a tremendous feeling, but are you feeling anything else at this moment? Um, I guess I'm feeling jealous! Season nine! See you in season nine! Hello. This is where I'm hiding. Good luck finding me here. They just passed me again. It's all in the trees. This is hell. We're living in hell. Sam, is this right? We gotta hurry just a little bit. How did they guess here? They were, they were this close. Getting pretty close. So close, but so far, boys. Wait, wait, I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to do the thing that, like... Sam's been here. You know? You know, oh, like, sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, let's find him. We cannot wait to bring you Jet Lag Switzerland. Uh, it is such a fun season. I mean, it's got mountains, it's got trains. It's your two favorite things. What else do you need? 
you need jet laggers in there. And that's what happened. And yeah. it's a lot of fun. The game is a lot of fun. I mean, I guess it's the first time we've been to Europe with anything but tag. It's true. And Europe is a great spot to do games. And so it's really fun to have done something different there. Uh, we're furiously in post-production right now. We can't wait to bring it to you. But uh, the good news is, if you want to see it a little bit earlier, uh, you can on Nebula, because every single episode of Jetlag is out one week early on Nebula, including the start to next season. And also, as a special treat for Nebula subscribers, by popular demand, we have made a giant compilation of clips from this season that we loved, but that did not make the final cut of the season. So that'd be bloopers, outtakes, uh, a ton of bits that were somehow too dumb even for this show. Uh, the video of outtakes is actually a full 26 minutes long which, if you're counting, makes it longer than the first episode of this season. So hopefully it will help to tide you through the offseason. But that video is available exclusively on Nebula. We will not be putting it on YouTube. It is a special thanks to our Nebula subscribers for helping support the show. And don't forget, we will still be doing our Nebula exclusive podcast, The Layover, through the offseason. So there is plenty of bonus jet lag content to keep you going through the offseason. But it is only available on Nebula. And, but there's also a lot of other great exclusive stuff on Nebula. Yeah, I mean, Nebula's got plenty of other stuff to keep you occupied during the off season. You've got amazing original content from, from channels like Real Life Lore, who you've seen on this show, Real Engineering, who you've also seen on this show. You've got uh, Broey de Chanel, Anita Sarkeesian, uh, you've got Lindsay Ellis. I heard there's this channel called Wendover Productions. Uh, it sounds, sounds like it's for freaking nerds, actually. But that's a lot of channels. But that's, that's a lot, a lot of, of original exclusive content. And I heard somewhere that, you know, there's the biggest ever slate of originals coming out right now. So there's more stuff than ever going on Nebula. Um, like new stuff almost every, every week or so, you know, all original stuff. And it's really good stuff because it's independent creators um, doing unique stuff that, you know, can't, you can't really do on YouTube and you can't really do for like Netflix or big broadcasters or whatever. I don't know. If you go to nebula.tv slash jet lag, you can get 40% off, which brings it down to just like $30 a year, which breaks down to under $3 a month-ish. Yeah, 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 Dang. exactly, yeah, definitely. Which is not that $2. much. $2.50 a month, actually. Especially to watch all this content, labor podcasts, early Nebula, and help support the show. That's literally how we get the money to do the show. Um, but yeah, see you in season nine.